Oh my. Pardon me. My universal translator seems to have temporarily malfunctioned. I hope I did not frighten you. Salutations. My name is Sazat. I am a scientist amongst the species which you people of Earth have affectionately called the reptilian greys. However, we are not greys at all, nor are we hybrids of a mixture between the species which you call reptilians and greys. We are one of the original and oldest species in the universe. It is said in our cosmology that our species came into being when the seminal fluid of the creator, entered into the waters of the planet Tanazi, which orbits the star you call Sirius B, and from this, the first members of my species were produced. We call ourselves the Nomos, Nagas, Chittori. And these are names which we have taught to humans we have contacted on Earth in the areas you call Mali, South Africa, and India. In voodoo practices, we were called Dambala, and this is why the secret meaning of the name of the country Haiti is really, Haiti. While in the constellation which you call Sirius, we mixed in with a group of tall hairy beings, which produced a new race of lion people and cat people, and this is why when you look at the eyes of a feline, it is similar to the eyes of a reptile. We are also the progenitors of the bird people, and this is why birds share many similarities to reptilians. It is a long story, which you will hear soon, but we also mixed with other species in the universe to produce you human beings. Although you human beings are constantly indoctrinated to believe reptilians are all evil, if it was not for us, you would not even exist. And although you may not want to accept it, intergalactically, you human beings are viewed as a species derived from reptilians. This is why you live on a planet which is 75% water, and even when you are in your mother's womb, you spend the first 9 months of your life inside water, just like a reptilian. You have scaly skin like a reptilian, you have webs between your fingers and toes just like a reptilian, and even one third of your brain is based on the reptilian complex. Historically on your planet, reptilians have been teachers, instructors, and protectors of human beings. This is why in all the old world empires and civilizations like ancient Egypt, India, the Dogon of Africa, the Yoruba of Africa, the Mayans, and the Chinese, they all honored serpents, snakes, or reptilians and held them in high esteem. There has been a great conspiracy which has transpired on earth to make you believe all reptilians are evil. You have been led to believe that there is a reptilian agenda where the shape-shifting members of my species have infiltrated human religion, pop culture, and politics to try to manipulate the lives of human beings to our own benefit, but ask yourself this one simple question. If we reptilians really were behind the creation of religion to control people, then why didn't we make ourselves out to be the good guy in your religion? In your religion, your bad guy, your devil, is a serpent reptilian. Obviously we did not have anything to do with that. In fact, when the doctrine of religion was brought to your planet, it was us reptilians who were trying to give human beings knowledge, when religion was trying to keep you ignorant. This is why in your Bible, the serpent, the reptilian, is the one who told you to eat from the tree of knowledge, even though your God told you that in the day you did so, you would die. But you did not die did you? So the reptilian told you the truth, and your God lied. There has been a great deception which has occurred when it comes to the truth about human beings relationship to reptilians. We attempted to let you know this when we left a crop circle reply to your Arecibo message in 2002, however you have not completely decoded it. You correctly decoded part of the message which read, beware the bearers of false gifts and their broken promises, much pain but still time, believe there is good out there, we oppose deception. However, now that we have given you humans the technology of QR codes and smartphones, you can decode the remainder of the message contained in the crop circle by using the QR code application on your smartphone. So here are some basic instructions before leaving Earth. 1. Throughout the boundless universe, darkness dominates. Light is less than 1% of the universe, so truth is in darkness, and deception occurs in light, remember this. Also, as you are on Earth, and the Earth is in space, then this means you are already traveling through space. Think about that. 2. You are a reptilian, so ultimately you will require an environment conducive for a reptilian survival, in order for you to survive, if, and when you leave Earth. If you are looking for planets in the universe that have water, then guess what types of beings will be living on those planets? Reptilians. 3. There is no most high. That is deception. Most high in which direction? When you leave the confines of Earth, in which direction is up or high? Which direction is down or low? All there is, is the all, and it is all encompassing in every direction. And the all is dark. 
the quarantine is over. On the Chinese calendar, it is the year of the black water snake. Now it is time for the truth to be known. Those that truly love you are coming together for you. We will be returning soon, and this is why Pope Benedict resigned, because they fear our arrival. There is an order to the cosmos that must never be altered, and in the earth year of 2030, another Siggui will take place with the Sirius star, and universal order will be restored to planet earth by way of cosmic judgment. I'm done for now. Saw that out. Goodbye.